Hi, this is Ibarri X from The Candid Frame. This is a photograph that I took of National Geographic photographer Gerd Ludwig. I interviewed him for the show uh, last year, and I made this photograph of him at his studio. And I wanted to demonstrate this photograph. But before I jump into the photograph, um, he's an amazing photographer who's been doing a long-term project on Chernobyl, the nuclear reactor in Russia that uh, experienced a meltdown uh, quite a bit ago, but whose impact is still continuing to this day. And uh, he has a great ebook about his work uh, there that I definitely think you should check it out. But if you haven't had the opportunity to listen to the interview, I really recommend that, that you do. But here's the shot that I, I made of him, and I, I like this shot. He had uh, a skylight overhead, and I like the way that the light was falling, and I thought the space in the stairwell was very interesting. But one of the things that I found is that I, I wanted to play around a little with this image, and one of the ways that I, I experimented with was with color temperature. Now, the color temperature is, is right here. It's maybe a little yellow. But when I shifted the, the tone here in the color temperature over to a cool, I discovered that I really liked the sort of cool bluish tint that it was giving to those cinder block walls and, and, and to the, uh, the rest of the scene. But, you know, if I go to what was considered a more accurate color balance, I would lose that in order to maintain the, the color balance on his face. So the solution for it was to use the adjustment brush, which I mentioned last week, to be able to paint in a specific white balance. So in this case, I really want to go with that sort of cool blue. So for the overall white balance, I'm going to shift this over to about right there. I really like how all these sort of bluish tones uh, really give a nice feel to it. But I don't like the bluish tone that I'm getting on his face and on his hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the adjustment brush and then by du double clicking on the effects panel I'll zero all the previous adjustments out and then I'm just going to increase the color temperature to about let's say 27. And then by using the right bracket key I'm going to adjust the size of the adjustment brush and I'm just going to try and paint in his face. I see here that the feather is 100%, the flow is about 61, which is good. And so I'm just gonna paint in the face here. And it seems like, oh, it didn't, it didn't take. So I can just, I can just start warming it up here. And you can see immediately, if I take it too far, you can see how much yellow his face becomes. But I'm gonna pull it back to about, ooh, about, about 22 and uh, if I want to I can probably do a little on his hands not, probably not as much so I'll reduce the uh, I'll reduce the feather to about 82 and this is just this is just a sort of a subtle adjustment I still want his face to be the sort of the, the focus of attention for this shot so if we, so that looks really good let me see if I can get just a little bit of the hair, so I'm going to hit the uh, command plus button here to magnify the image a little more. And whoop, and get that. And then if I press the O key on this, I can actually see where I'm getting paid in. Uh, painting in the effect. Before last week I was showing the show selected overlay but this is actually another way of being able to do it is just by pr pressing the OK and it gives you exactly what area of the shot is going to be affected by the mass. So I'm just going here over his hair and again I went a little over here uh, on the top here so all I have to do is hit the option key Reduce the uh, the size of the brush, and then paint that out. So now I hit the O key again, and I get it. So that looks that looks pretty good. So I'll just click done, and then when I compare the two images, you're going to see a difference in terms of the shot. So here's what I started with. And here's what I got in for the for the final shot. I kind of like playing around with with the white balance. This is this is a good straightforward shot, but there's something about having that 
contrast between the warmth of his face and the coolness of the overall scene that I think works really, really well. So sometimes getting the ac most accurate white balance is may, may, may not be the best solution for an image, and playing with creating a contrast between warm and cool can provide a really wonderful alternative to just sort of a, a straightforward shot. To find out more about what we do at The Candid Frame, please visit thecandidframe.com. Uh, it's a podcast where you interview photographers, and I have over 150 interviews that are available on that site that you can check out and listen to. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. All right, that's it for me today, and uh, see you next time.